So I've popped into Corner Cottage to take advantage of this beautiful fireplace. Look at it. And look at the stunning hop garland that they put lights on. It looks absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to give you a little tour if I can be bothered to get up off this very comfy sofa. Now I've had my cup of tea. This is the living room. Nice big telly. I think it's got sky or something like that. Don't really understand tellies. Got to go back to that beautiful fireplace. And around the living room, lovely comfy furniture. Lots of beautiful bits of art on the walls. Loads and loads of features here. It's so homely. That's why I like this so much, this house. And we go through here to the dining room. So you've got a separate dining room, but it also takes you through to the kitchen. So you can be chatting away to whoever's tasked with doing the cooking. Lovely dining room, plenty of seating for six of you. And this kitchen is epic. This kitchen has got everything you need. It's beautifully fitted out. Tons of space, lots of workspace, great big range cooker dishwasher there's a washing machine huge fridge freezer so if you're a raw feeder you've got plenty of space in there and an under the counter fridge views out across the lovely garden so we're going to go back through here love the clock there's the guest book here with some really cracking comments in everyone that comes here loves it it's just a really really nice has a great feel to it that fire though, look at that fire. Imagine just sat there, bottle of wine open after your dinner. Enjoying that. There's a little bathroom through here. I say little bathroom. It's a bathroom. And I'm gonna trot you upstairs. Here's the sorry, here's the uh, lobby bit first. This is quite a useful place. There's all sorts of books, looks out over the garden, and then across the fields. Everywhere here you can see fields. It may be on the corner of two roads, hence the name Corner Cottage, but really the traffic is absolutely minimal and it is so peaceful and quiet. I've been here at, at sunrise and at sunset and it's always been lovely. Lots of bird song. There we go, so we come upstairs, we've got the single bedroom. I just love the bed linen here, it's some really good choices, absolutely lovely. And another view across the fields. And this is the master bedroom. Super king bed, more gorgeous bed linen, more views across the fields, and some lovely detail. I know I use the word lovely a lot. That's because I haven't got a very good imagination, but it's because it's lovely, that's why. So this is the main bedroom, and then you've got two more rather charming, there's another word for you. If you can think of some more words, let me know. Charming bedroom, gorgeous style here. Claudia, who owns this, has got a really lovely eye for detail. Oh, sorry. Her detail skills are better than my videoing skills. Then you've got the shower room up here as well. That's very handy. And through here, we've got the last bedroom. There we go. Another very nicely put together, beautifully detailed. Just comfortable. I want to lie down on that bed because it just looks so comfortable. <laughs> I'm running out of adjectives and another view across the fields I promise you this this house is surrounded by fields and another beautiful thing about this house is you can walk there's all sorts of paths around those fields you can walk around you can make up great long routes or short oh hell there's me sorry in my job puzzle obviously I'm just going to do pogo I'm going to take you back downstairs to my very favorite bit you see there's the dog beds that are here waiting for you it's all sorts of doggy goodies but this bit doesn't that just look fantastic? Imagine a nice evening spent in front of the fire of today on the beach or day walking round. Also, when you get back from the pub, because the star at Lessingham is just down the road. I mean, just down the road. It's a few minutes walk away and that's a cracking pub. Dog friendly. Everything about this house and the whole area is dog friendly. So I'm hoping that you will get to spend some time here because it really is one of the nicest places. It sleeps six to seven, obviously six in the three bedrooms and then seven in the single room. Um, and there's just so much space and so much charm and it is, well, it's lovely.